Hi, greetings. My name is Jonathan Jackson, and I'm the chairman of Jonathan Jackson Foundation. I was born here in Kenya, in Eldoret. My Kalenjin name is Kiplimo, and uh, so I grew up there. My father was principal of Masoriot Teachers College, and uh, then he became a pastor of AIC Church here in Nairobi. And my mother started a charity working in Kibera in those days to help women. And that's where I started uh, working in the communities when I was just six years old, uh, visiting Kibera with my mother. So I've uh, been in Europe, done my businesses in Europe. I came back to Kenya and now investing in Nairobi and doing my projects here in Nairobi in real estate. I, as I wanted to do something with the communities, so I decided to start my own foundation, which I've just said is Jonathan Jackson Foundation. This foundation mainly is to help uh, young people and youth who are actually working in the communities, living in the communities, who are in le less privileged, and they actually uh, don't have jobs. They need to be able to get out of those communities and work their way out. And often they come and ask for food, and I say, no, what we'll do is help you to earn your food. And that's what we have been doing. So across the different communities in uh, Nairobi, we have now been working with over 2,000 youth. And those, those uh, projects and profiles are really going very well. Then came Corona. And with Corona, we had to put a hold on, on those projects. And, but we had those very good connections across uh, Nairobi. And the other very important thing I would like to tell you is that uh, the foundation, we bought a football club called Nairobi City Stars. And Nairobi City Stars, uh, if you're a football a fan, you will know that we were the champions of the Super League this year. And so they're, and they're great. They're, and they come from all the different communities in Nairobi. So we work with our football club and the football players in the different communities with the different uh, youth groups that we've been working with and with with that team of people and of course the foundation team as well we have been identifying who with the local community we're identifying who is really really sick who really is uh, elderly and who are really in need of assistance and food and so we make those lists the football players go and visit house by house to make sure they're really sick and that they really do need it and it's not just a fake name. So we make sure that we're not distributing to people who don't really need it. And then with that list, we telephone them. We have their ID number and we have their telephone number. We call them to check they all exist and are real. And then what we were doing is then uh, taking the food. We we, we put it into, we buy it in bulk. So we buy it in huge quantities in bulk. And then with our football players, we've been uh, putting it into bags. And then we've been distributing. Now we've been doing this with different uh, organizations our, by ourselves and with other partners. And one of the partners we are very pleased to be working with is a group called Kabamba TV. And I'm sure you know uh, Kabamba TV and the great work they do with the youth. And so we have developed a great uh, working relationship with Kobamba TV, along with Nairobi City Stars and ourselves. And so we've been going out into all the different communities, really distributing not only food, but predominantly food. We have distributed over 1.8 million meals so far in the last 17 weeks, uh, which is, comes to about 230 tons of food. Um, so it's been quite good for my football team, keeping them fit, uh, distributing all of that food. And so, but the most important thing for me has been when we go into an elderly person's home who's really sick, they can't move at all. And I go there with someone from Kubamba who's there to come and pray with them. And it's not just about bringing food. They're very grateful for the food, but it's more than that. It's the fact that somebody out there cares for them. And it's that care which really touches their lives. The fact that someone really cares and brought food to them and really worries about them and is caring for them in their hour of need. And this is their hour of need. And we're so humbled to be part of a group of people who really have that desire and wish and willingness to give of themselves to go and, and donate food and to distribute that food. 
And so we would love to invite you watching us and watching this event and seeing how we're helping our neighbors. And we call it the Jenga Jirani Initiative because it is all about supporting our neighbor. And part of this is we're trying to raise additional funds and funding to, to be able to buy more food because our food parcels only last a family of five, five people for 10 days. So we, and they are still out of work. They still don't have an income. They still do need to be supported. So we really urge you and ask you, and we love the heart of Kenyans. And we are so, we as a nation, we are so great at giving and supporting each other. Please do, do contribute that. And there's one, one uh, initiative that we are now doing with Kabamba, and we're going to start a festival. And we're going to do this festival every, every month. And the first festival will start, uh, we're planning it to be on the 11th and 12th of October. And it is a two-day festival, multiple different stages, just like any normal festival, but it'll be run on TV, on social media, and it will be a great event of different music, secular, gospel music. We have a lot of amazing partners coming in to join us on this and will be part of this festival time. So come enjoy it, have fun, and also please help contribute. What we're looking for is to get 1 million Kenyans to give 100 shillings a month. It's affordable, it's really affordable. 100 shillings a month, that's all we're asking for. With that, we can then distribute the, that money, not just to ourselves, but we'll be distributing it to the Red Cross, to UNHCR, to the Aga Khan Foundation, and to, and to many others as well, so that all of those different groups can be supported in this hour of need where we can all Jenga Jirani. Thank you.